Hi all, welcome to my video for Funhouse. It's a table I really looked forward to play as it's by the same designer as Rocho, my favorite table on Pinball FX3. It's not nearly as involved or complicated as Rocho, but there are still lots of interesting things to do and lots of little tricks that can help you to put up a better score. The table also punishes inaccuracy, so you need to be patient to put up a good score. Start off with the skill shot. It is not a lot of points it seems, but on this low scoring table it eventually goes up to a million. This first one is 250,000. But yes, a lot of points on this table. And then yeah, they are shoot around the trapdoor lane. And that opens the trapdoor for the trapdoor bonus. Uh, also not a lot of points, but uh, and it's a difficult shot that. But if you can get it right, it's good. Okay, mirror awards. There are six of them. They're in the wind tunnel. To relight the mirror award, you need to either hit Rudy, or in this case, um, you can see there's a little lane uh, on the right in lane. There we go. If you roll over there, it lights it for a short amount of time. This first mirror award was super dogs, not worth a lot of points, but yeah. There I go over that lane again. You see it's a bit of a grace period, so just take your time and make sure you get it. Next one is Max Bumpers. Not a big part of my game on this table, but it can advance your time, which we'll talk about later. And then that's 1 million, and there I get it, and I also get the extra ball in that particular game uh, for reaching 7.2 million points. Okay, and then there's the extra ball mirror award, and then steps. The steps have various different awards. It's a plunger on the left hand side. The first one is just a steps award, not worth a lot. In this case I lit Frenzy. Didn't hit it there, we'll see it later. And then yeah, I get extra ball but lose the ball straight away. <laughs> and you lose that extra ball as well, which is very sad. Okay, and then gangway, if you go through the left in lane. And in the opposite orbit, also on the left hand side, then you advance your gangway value. There I get special after you start multiple for a second time. And then special is lit in the outlines, and the easiest way to get it is to get the step award. There I got another gangway, that's by shooting it once. And then if you go around again in a short amount of time, you get the gangway. And there you are, that's what you want to get with gangway, you want to get the extra ball. And then it resets again. And then the last mirror award is the quick multi ball. It's worth 1 million points each time you hit Rudy. So, yeah, again, not a huge amount of points, but yeah, if you can keep on doing it, nice points to have. Okay, got Rudy there. There you can see me nudging up. After I hit Rudy because it's a very dangerous shot. You have to hit Rudy, but it's really dangerous. Yeah, almost messed it up, <laughs> but managed to save it. Uh, lucky bounce. And then, yeah, that's about it. And then, a big part of the game is to advance the clock to midnight. And you do that by hitting all sorts of targets and so forth. My favorite way is by shooting that left ramp and then to shoot it around into the hidden hallway. Here we go, into the hidden hallway. So 11.45, launch the ball. Whenever you launch the ball, try to get that skill shot. Okay, 500,000, eventually it goes up to a million. And then yes, uh, what I try to do after you have all the mirror awards, then you get Super Frenzy. And what you really want to do, like in this case, to start Super Frenzy with Midnight Multiple. Because you can get a lot of points that way. Yeah, I'll show another way of dealing with the ball coming out of the scoop. Because I want to shoot that hidden passage quickly. So there was a nice post pass get it to the other side 
Here's another one. It's quite safe on this table, so just practice doing that. And here's a nice nudge boss. Not conventional, but you need to do what you need to do. So let's start Midnight Multiball. It's quite a frenetic affair. But you just need to keep your head and concentrate on what you're doing. So there we go. Started by hitting Rudy. And then my technique is to let the first ball go. Oops, there I hit it. I'll show you later how I actually do it. You can see Frenzy is also still ongoing. So I'm not making the best use here of this multi-ball. Haven't hit the jackpot yet or anything, but the points for Frenzy go up at 100,000 a target hit. Okay, now I'll quickly show you if you haven't scored a jackpot, you can restart multiple by hitting that uh, hidden passage again. Here we restart multiple. So I'll actually start another multiple here just to show you how I play it. So I'll let the first ball go so that I can control that ball on the right. And then I try to, then it's a case of juggling. So let's see if I can get that trap tool. There we go. Soon as you get that jackpot in the trap tool, then you have to shoot the other ball around the left ramp to relight the jackpot. There we go, try again. And as soon as the ball go into that wind tunnel, you have to get rid of the ball on the right. Try and control both balls there. Didn't shoot there because I was afraid I'm going to lose the ball at the bottom. Let's try again. There's another way of dealing with it. Just hope for a good bounce and you usually do get it. There we get the jackpot again and now again try and shoot this right ball around the ramp so that you can activate the jackpot again and then control the ball on the right. Yeah that was perfect. Very good. Here we go. So each time it goes up by a million it resets when you play your next jackpot again. But yeah it can go up to I think either 10 or 15. The highest I've got was this one I'm showing you now, which is only six. But yeah, it's just a case of keeping track of where the balls are going to come out so that you can control it. There, I had a bad bounce, unfortunately, so I lost it, but uh, there's still a grace period, so I got that last jackpot. So that was very good points. So yeah, after Super Frenzy, the mirror wards are closed until you lose the ball again. Now I'm just showing you the normal frenzy. It's only 50,000 where super frenzy is 100,000 per point. But you'll see the value doesn't start at zero. I've already played super frenzy without losing a ball. So it just adds to that. And then you get the frenzy total only when you lose the ball at the end of ball bonus. Now there you can see Rudy is very dangerous. There I lost the ball. And now I'll see the Super Frenzy value get added there. 5.25 for Frenzy and Super Frenzy that I had. Okay, and then when you restart the ball, then the mirror warts in the wind tunnel are active again. And there I get one of them. That's a lucky shot. You can bank a day off the Super Dog targets. It's a nice way of doing it, but that was just a lucky shot. Yeah, end of game. Always comes too quickly. Yep, just like that. And then, yeah, for each Rudy hit, you get 100,000. So it's nice points, but not a lot. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's not a very complicated table, but it is good fun. And it's nice if you can stack different modes. Thanks.